Hey everybody, Mark Specter Comics, and I'm back. This time going on a little bit of a road trip, driving down to Claremont, New Hampshire. I saw that there's a comic book shop uh, there in the mall. Uh, I'm going to go check it out inside with my son and see what we can find. All right, so it looks like we made it finally to Claremont. We're walking through the city. Yeah, small little cute city. More little, seems like old, like factory mill style. But we're approaching the uh, comic book shop, so uh, let's go check it. Here we go. Place okay, is called. Like place is called Triple Play Comics, Cards, and Games. Looks like they have some sales too. So, how much is this? Are those cards too? Mm hmm. And you can see you got all your. Pokemon cards. All sorts of, I don't know, get a bunch of different toys and whatnot from different games. Got some other cards. They're all listed. Probably World of Warcraft, I would imagine. Pretty cool. So if you're a card person, you'd love this store. to give you an idea so you got more sleeves and card accessory stuff you also have some comic book related bags and boards playing tubes pretty cool Yeah, you get the Pokemon. All right, so that was fun. Um, ended up just leaving the store. It was called Triple Play Comics and uh, Collectibles out in Claremont. Uh, New Hampshire um, didn't find too much for me per se it was a lot of modern comic books towards the end uh, I showed a little clip there there's um, some uh, graded books but you know like I said all modern stuff uh, didn't really see anything too vintage it was more of like a you know cards and assorted collectibles and you can meet up and play games with each other with some friends and stuff like that so kind of a bust but uh, my son ended up picking up a little tin of Pokemon cards so he got, you know, excited about that. So uh, on to the next one. All right, everybody. We're at the next stop now. This place is called Endless Treasures. We're in Newport, New Hampshire. There's two floors of goodies here. Let's see if we can find any. Godzilla! This one's cool. Looking to see what else they have. Oh, they got some puzzles. Yeah. Look at 
Oh. We found comic books. Can you help me put the Sonic books down? Mortal Kombat! <laughs> Gotta love these in these little bags. Alright, so we're at the last stop of the afternoon. We're at the Harpoon Brewery. I'm sure you guys have one time or another, if you like beer, you've had a Harpoon Brew, probably one of their IPAs, I would imagine. So we're here. I'm excited to finally come to this brewery. It's definitely been on one of my lists to go check out in Vermont. So I'm excited to go in and have a beer. All right, so there you go, guys. That was the uh, video of the day. I ended up spending the afternoon with my son. We went to an LCS in Claremont. We went to an antique shop and then a brewery right after. So um, didn't find anything at the comic shop like you saw in the video. Uh, my son ended up getting those Pokemon packs. Um, got some cool cards in there. They had some cool slabs on the wall like you saw, but not much there in the back issues. It almost felt like... Um, like a gaming shop more than a comic shop you know and uh, then we ended up going to the antique mall and there was this one little section of the antique mall that had you know the library sign at the top and they had some comic books that you saw there in one of the clips and they had some really cool sonic and knuckles books from the archie comics publisher back in the uh, the early 90s so that's where i ended up picking up the um one comic book that i saw that i you know like i've spoken before in in previous videos is not um it's pretty hard to find some of those archie sonic and or knuckles the echidna comic books from the 90s they just you know the kids often read them they destroyed them you know so to find them in pretty decent condition or even find them in general especially the later issues they're pretty tough to find so um that antique mall had probably like four or five of the Knuckles books and then like, you know, two or three of the Sonic the Hedgehog books. And uh, I ended up picking up one book from there and I'll show you the book that I found. And um, all of these books were, I believe, between five and seven dollars for the uh, comic books. And, and they all came in either like Ziploc bags or like just the bag, no boards. So uh, to see them in decent condition, I was kind of surprised. So the one book I did pick up there was uh, Knuckles the Echidna, issue number 22. This is the uh, direct edition. And um, I want to say that this book came out in it? Uh, 1999. So it was a little bit later of the run. I want to say it went up to like 34 or 35 issues, something like that. Um, but this one is one of the harder issues to find. And um, it's pretty valuable, you know, for in the run because of it's a controversial issue. And if you open up on the first page, there's uh, a little bit of an excerpt there. And um, I'll read it to you because um, it is controversial. And it, it goes by, let's see, real Robotropolis 3328, during Dr. Robotnik's takeover through robotization, the swap bots came for the foxes, and I did not speak up because I was not a fox. Then they came for the rabbits, and I did not speak up because I was not a rabbit. Then they came for the squirrels, but I did not speak up because I was not a squirrel. Then they came for the hedgehogs, and I did not speak up because I was an echidna. Then they came for me, and by that time, nobody was left to speak up, anonymous. So this was actually plagiarized from um, back in the 30s by a famous, you know, Holocaust poem uh, by Martin, I want to say it's Neil Moeller. I could be mispronouncing it, I apologize. Uh, which was written by First They Came. So first they came for the communists, and I did not speak out because I was not communist. Then they came for the socialists, and I did not speak out because I was not socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. 
then they came for me and there was no one left to speak out for me. So you can see it's clearly plagiarized. It's just swapped out for some of these Archie characters and so forth. Um, and, you know, it's really a poor, you know, plagiarized um, excerpt in the comic book. And, you know, because of that, this book is valued um, because of its controversy. So for me to find it in the wild for uh, 650, it was a pretty good find. Um, I did read it, you know, like I said, it's in the right there in the splash page. It's and it's written anonymous. Um, but it's just a cool find, you know, and it's it's always fun, you know, to see these books out in the uh, in the wild, especially in the antique malls. So uh, that was the only book I ended up picking up during that whole day. It was a fun, fun time with my son. We ended up getting those Pokemon books and then we ended up finishing the afternoon going to um, Harpoon Brewery and um, ended up uh, having a beer there with my son. We opened up those Pokemon cards and played a little bit. So that was a good time. So uh, that's it for this time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. And until next time, Mark's with the comics.